Hi viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Rainbow Sign Assam. Today in this video I am going to discuss with you some of the important questions that may be asked in the uh, upcoming MPhil PhD entrance test conducted by Krishnakanta and the State Open University. The admission come entrance test will be of 100 marks in two parts. The first part consists of 50 MCQ on research methodology and the second part will have five essay type questions on the subject proper. Now let's have a look on some important questions on the research methodology. The concept of syllogism was propounded by the right answer will be Aristotle. In which type of reasoning conclusion is drawn by observing instances and generalizing them? Answer will be inductive reasoning. Scientific method of research is attributed to Charles Darwin. The right answer will be Charles Darwin. The next question is which is more acceptable about research? The right answer will be research gives solution to a problem or establishes a relationship between two or more variables. Research based on empirical data and evidence to formulate, expand and evaluate theory is called pure basic or fundamental research. Research undertaken by practitioners to improve their practice is called action research. The next question is research done for the sake of knowledge is called fundamental research. In research discipline means a field of study. This will be the right answer. Which one is not a type of quantitative research? The right answer will be case study research. Scarcity of drinking water during flood is a test type of variable. So answer will be intervening variable. Four types of measurement scale was proposed by the right answer will be Stevens. Next, Likert scale, Thurston scale and Gutman scale are types of the right answer will be attitudinal scale next question hypothesis that guides about the cause and effect relationship is called the answer will be explanatory hypothesis the term exon research was coined by the right answer will be good living then a researcher classified the population according to their age and then he collects sample from the each age group. This type of sampling is called stratified random sampling. Next question will be snowball sampling is a type of the right answer will be non probability sampling. Then what is SPSS? So SPSS is a statistical data analysis software. What is the referencing style applied in this line? So the right answer will be APA. APA style is applied in this uh, citation. Then OPSIT stands for what this means. The right answer will be OPSITATAM. Indian National Bibliography is under the supervision of Ministry of Culture, Government of India. Then the next question is what do you consider as a main aim of interdisciplinary research? The answer will be to bring out holistic approach to research. The next question one of the essential characteristics of research is generalizability so 
So generalizability is one of the essential characteristics of research. The term phenomenology is associated with the process of qualitative research. So this is an important thing. Which research approach is the most appropriate to establish a relationship that is casual in nature? It is experimental. Which research method is termed as controlled observation? This is an important concept you need to know. The answer is field experimentation. Next question. Which research paradigm is based on pragmatic view of reality? It is mixed research. Then, which scientific method is a bottom-up or generative approach to research? It is inductive method. A 9-year-old is taller than 7-year-old ones. It is an example of cross-sectional studies. The next question. The main difference between longitudinal and cross-sectional research is in terms of frequency of data collection. Formulation of hypothesis may not be necessary in which type of studies? The right answer will be fact-finding historical research. In fact-finding historical research, hypothesis is not necessary. The ethical transgression in research means Define ethical principles. I hope this video is useful for you in your preparation. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, then like it, then share it, and subscribe the channel if you have not done yet. So, thank you for watching the video. Thank you very much.